Hello Excelers and welcome. Thanks for joining me today for another How to Excel at Excel.com Excel tip video. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button below to get notified when there's a new Excel tip available here on my YouTube channel. And if you want to sign up for the How to Excel at Excel newsletter, which gives you three free Excel tips every month direct to your inbox. There's a link below in the description box there. Uh, and when you sign up, you'll get my free ebook, which has got my top 80 Excel tips. Okay, let's get started on today's Excel. Hi Excelers, welcome back to another how to excel at excel.com video. If you want to download the sample workbook, I put a link in the description box. And also if you want to read the blog post that accompanies this video, the link will be there as well. So today what I'm gonna show you how to do is how to show both a actual value and percentage on the one report but we're not going to use any formulas to do that so the request in this example was to show the gross sales which we have here in our data uh, the gross sales per month but also the percentage split over the months of the growth sales so how much does each month represent as a percentage of the full year so we're not going to use any formulas for this we're going to get excel to do all the hard work so let's create a pivot table hit ctrl and a insert a pivot table and let's pop that on our existing worksheet so what we're going to add in is let's bring up the fields we're looking at gross sales and we're looking at month so we've got a monthly split of gross sales. So here's a quick tip if when you, by default, the pivot table will just put row labels, but if you want to make that look, but if you want that to make a bit more sense, if you go to the design tab and report layout and click tabular form, that will automatically label your rows with the field you've chosen. Okay, so we've got our gross sales split per month. But as I said, the ask was, we need to see per month of percentage split for the full year. So let's go back to our pivot table and the field list again. And if we add gross sales in again, we've got a duplicate. What we wanna do with this one is click in the field settings and we can look at this tab, which is show value as, and this is where we can select to show this value as the percentage of the column total. Hit okay, and there we have it. We have both the actual sales or the value, and we've got the percentage split per month of those sales. So very quickly, we can see that most sales were in June, August, and December. So that's it, a really quick way to look at both the value and percentage on the one report, not using any formulas, get Excel to do the hard work for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And also, if you want three free Excel tips every month, sign up to the How to Excel at Excel newsletter. Thanks for watching.